So you've been doing some 10 pulls on the current banner, trying to get Kazuha or Nouvellet. And while you did not get them, you did get Barbara. Now, if you did get Barbara from this banner, that means that you should have C1 because you do get Barbara for free upon completing the Animo Archon quest. So we are going to look at her constellations because there's a good chance that you have multiple constellations on Barbara. But in this video, we are going to look at... Doggy, your message just came through. Uh, in this video, we are going to look at the basics for Barbara, the way that her skill works, the way that her burst works, and some different teams that you can use her on. So let's get into this video on Barbara. I got to swap hands. Doggy, you can leave that in. Okay. So just like we do on every single one of these videos, we're going to look at the current Barbara that we are using for this video. So my Barbara is level 50 out of 50 with almost 12,000 HP. Uh, attack is 721 EM 148. Her crit split, 10 over 50, not too impressive. Uh, healing bonus is 38.7. Uh, energy recharge, 116.8. For her weapon, she does have a level 90 R1 prototype Amber, which we'll talk about a little later on. For artifacts, she is running a four-piece clam. And then here we are with the constellations. So because you should have C1 if you pulled her from the spanner, C1, Barbara regenerates one energy every 10 seconds. You don't have to do anything different for that. Her C2 is... Now, because my Barbara is C6, we'll just go ahead and go through all three of them. C2 decreases the cooldown of her skill by 15%. During the ability's duration, your active character gains a 25-15% hydro damage bonus. Uh, number three is normal. Number four, every opponent Barbara hits with her charge attack regenerates one energy for her. A maximum of five energy can be regenerated in this manner with any single charge attack. C5 is normal. C6, whenever you... Whenever you have a character die in battle, in a fight, Barbara will revive them to 100% HP, can have it every 15 minutes. This is amazing for the Abyss, or it can be amazing for the Abyss. Also, I forgot to say in the intro, because I just kept rambling, like, what do you get with Barbara besides this? Uh, so what do you get with Barbara besides a... Wait, what do I even say in the beginning? Now, what do you get with Barbara besides somebody that will never be as tall as her big sister? Well, Barbara is a height. Well, Barbara is a catalyst wielding hydro user who at C6 can actually bring a dead character back to life in the abyss. And it's very interestingly nichely useful. Say that three times fast. Okay, so with all of that out of the way, let's go look at how her skill and her burst works. So with Barbara being a Catalyst Wielder, her normal and her charge attacks are going to have her element Hydro infused into them all the time. It's not going to do physical damage unless you're doing shenanigans, which we are not in this video. So her normal attacks are going to hit an enemy, a single enemy, for Hydro. Her charge attacks are going to do a variant, an AoE of Hydro damage hitting any enemy that is within its AoE, dealing Hydro damage and afflicting them with Hydro. So now we're going to look at her skill. What her skill is going to do is it is going to put this ring around her. Uh, you can swap off the field. Another character can take its place and the ring will stay. This ring will heal your on-field character. It also applies the wet status to your own character. So if you have been hit with an element before, like cryo, then it will freeze you upon using it. If you touch an enemy with this ring around your character, it will also apply Hydro to them. It won't damage them, it will just apply Hydro. Now if we look at her burst, we are going to let some characters take some damage. We're going to let Kale, Kaya, and Dindo Traveler and Barbara take some damage so that way we can use her burst. Her burst does an instant party-wide heal based on Barbara's max HP. Now, one thing to note, it does not apply Hydro to any enemy. There was a uh, Treasure Hoarder right next to her. Whenever she uses her burst, it does not apply Hydro. It just only heals your whole party. That's all it does. So now we're going to look at some artifact sets. Now, for a beginner... That was my dryer. I hope that wasn't in the... Well, the bzz was. So, so for a beginner artifact set, you have two options depending on what you want to do with her you do have exile set which is going to be really good for using her burst more often uh, this is going to be the set if you want to use her for a burst heal support right um, not only is it going to get her energy recharge up it's also going to get up the energy recharge for the whole party 
because of the four piece set. Now you also have instructor set. This is gonna be much more tailored to the party that we're gonna use later on in the video to be an on-field bloom driver, right? This is going to give her a lot of elemental mastery. It is also going to give your other party members elemental mastery. So whoever creates the blooms, it's okay. They'll, they'll do the same amount of damage. Now, both of these sets, depending on what you want to do, you can either go full EM stats for the instructor set or for the exile set, you want to do either HP, HP, healing bonus, HP, HP, HP. This is going to increase and maximize her healing. If you want to do an on-field hydro damage, uh, Barbara, you can. You would just do a hydro goblet crit rate crit damage circlet, you know, the, the standard kind of build for a hydro damage character. Now, in the domain, Barbara did have Ocean Hued Clam set on her. If you are curious as to how that set actually works, I do have a video on it that you can scroll down and check out. So for beginner or mid-game weapons, we do have like four-star prototype Amber. This is a craftable weapon that you get upon starting the game. It does get up HP, and this can be very, very good for healing because its passive also increases uh, the healing overall because they will, all party members will regenerate 4% of their own HP whenever you use a burst. So if you don't fully heal them with her burst, it's okay, the passive can get you there. Now, you also have three-star Thrilling Tales of Dragon Slayer. This is phenomenal because not only does it get up her HP, which is good, the passive is really good if you are using somebody else as your on-field main damage dealer. You can swap from Barbara to them, giving them an insane attack boost with this weapon. You also do have Boundless Blue, which was an event weapon that can be very good if you are not using her burst as often as you want. This can be good because it has energy recharge to allow her to use her burst. If that's the case, just make sure you're going full HP on the artifacts. If you are wanting to use her for an on-field bloom driver, which I will be doing in just a second, then you do have three-star magic guide, which gets up elemental mastery as well as having a passive that does help her out because it increases the damage against enemies afflicted by Hydra. Now, I normally have Barbara in a lot of the other character videos, right? She's almost always a fourth slot. So to do something a little different and to give her video a little difference, I am going to give her a Flowers of Paradise Lost set and get her EM as high as possible because then this next section of the video, we're going to talk about party. I'm going to use her as an on-field bloom driver in a fridge team. Now, we can do this fridge team with all three characters, Barbara, Kale, Dendro Traveler, and Kaya. So the way that this team is going to work is that we are going to be using Dendro Traveler and Kale to apply Dendro, Kaya to have his burst out, Barbara to be the on-field hydro driver. That means that she is going to be using her normal attacks, her skill, and her charge attacks to, to hit the enemy with hydro, creating blooms. We want Kaya's burst to freeze them in place so that way we can move out of the way whenever those blooms explode, and so that way they can't move out of the way of the blooms exploding. We are going to make as many blooms as possible. This is how a fridge team works. You want to just hit the enemy with hydro and dendro so that way you can have blooms and blooms and plants and all of these little dendro cores being made so that way when they explode you were dealing a lot of damage to enemies this would be the uh instructor set this would what this would be what you would be using that for as much em on barbara as possible because she is the one that is going to be creating the blooms with the hydro having some em on kale and on dendro traveler will also be good and instructor set will help with that but this is really just a, a very good example of how you could use an early game fridge team and it actually be fairly successful. Also, neither of the two Dendro characters have deep woods on them. So if they did, these blooms would be hitting much higher than what they currently are. Now, like I said, Barbara does slot into a lot of teams and a lot of videos that I do. Typically, I will have like Zhang Ling, Barbara, and Kaya together so that way they can cause vaporize and melt reactions. That is why I wanted to do something a little bit different for the team example because you can go back and click on any other video that I've done and Barbara's probably going to be in it for that character. So that's why I wanted to do this something a little different because Barbara gets used in so many other videos. That is going to be it for this video. If you do have any questions, do be sure to leave it down in the comments myself or someone else be sure to answer it, and I'll see you in the next one.